For today's What's Wrong With This House exercise, John and I are going to analyze Plan 7, which is a 580 square foot, one bedroom, one bathroom unit in the Mark Condominium Project located in Yale Town in Vancouver. So if you want to see our slow home test score for the project, you can click on the link below the post. Exactly. So let's have a look at the project. Just to start off, it scored 87 out of 100 on the walk score, so it's it's in a great neighborhood. We, yeah. I love Yale Town. So obviously it gets a point for location. Yeah. It's a lead gold project, so it's going to get the uh, pro the point for environmental performance and as we can see from the site plan here unit 7 faces east yeah. which is good it's going to have it has a little bit of south exposure so from an orientation point of view I think it's good interesting we've got a stair there which yep. means that we need to pay a little bit of attention but when we look at it we see that the stair is actually there beside yep. the kitchen so not a problem so I think it yep. gets points for the uh, for siting as well. Yeah, and I think um, when we go into the interior part of the unit, the first thing that we need to bring up is the fact that this is 580 square feet. That's so right. this is a very small unit, and exactly. in Vancouver there are lots of very, very small units. Yes. Vancouver is very dense, a lot of apartment lofts that are small, so organization is absolutely critical. Yeah. And in this project, unfortunately, I don't think we can give it the points. No. It starts off way you know sort of off the mark just because of the shape of it is yeah. so awkward right. which is the result of the overall shape of the building but yeah. I mean it would be difficult for anybody to 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 do something with yeah. this outline it's yeah. almost impossible yeah with that I really feel that they've jammed everything into this unit it feels jammed in and I think that one of the major issues we've got is just the location of the bathroom in relation to the bedroom yeah. there's always going to be that transiting of the space exactly. it just seems awkward so I don't think we can score at the point for organization I also don't think we can score at the point for entry uh, we've got a space for entry but we don't have a closet yeah and I think that's a huge problem because in Vancouver you need somewhere to put your raincoat you can't just come in and put your put your boots on the floor there I don't think that's a good no thing. that's right and we can't really give the points for living either because I mean no. at least the, the the person who drew this plan put a uh, put a sofa, a full sofa in there, but you see it's half in it the is, kitchen. It is so awkward to furnish with this geometry. This isn't even a 45 degree angle, no. it's actually more tight and so you're always going to have the feeling that something is way off with the furniture placement, so it's really not very good. So when we look at the, uh, the outdoor living, um, I don't think it's as bad as the other parts of the unit, I think that it's okay. It's a little unfortunate that it's off the bedroom. Yeah, you know, like it doesn't have a great connection, but I think overall it's also maybe a little narrow. But I'm going to say that I, I would agree. I think that we would give it the points given the density of, of yeah. Vancouver. I think that it we have to talk about the kitchen. I yeah, think the kitchen yeah. is a real problem. I think that having this L-shaped kitchen in the corner. Uh, there is a lot of floor space in an apartment where we don't really have the luxury no, and it's, of floor it's space. it's kind of open-ended because it doesn't have an island. It wants an island for It does, and right? I really feel what that does is it makes the whole space feel like we're in the kitchen. Exactly. Basically. We haven't seen this since Toronto. No, no, and this is even smaller than the ones that we've seen in Toronto, so there's even more pressure. Um, dining, um, I think that we've got an issue with dining. I think it's... it's the geometry again, right? Left it's over in, in the corner, that point. I don't think we can score at the point. Bedrooms, I think the bedroom is okay. Yeah. I think it's the one space that's orthogonal, and we've actually got an okay closet. Yeah, it's got nice windows, and uh, I like that window at the bottom. I think that's quite nice. Yeah, study, what do you think? Well, it doesn't have a study, 580 square feet. Boy, you're lucky if you get a laptop in there, so yeah. I'd say it's fine. Okay, and the bathroom, I think we were taking issue with the bathroom. Well, I don't like the location, but also look at that. Again, the geometry yeah. puts that toilet in this really weird position. We've got two issues because we've got a, we've got this dead little bit of floor space here and plus when the vanity's tied up against the shower I worry about that connection detail. I don't know. Not, Not very good. Nice. Laundry, Laundry, it's okay. Yeah, and parking, there's parking in the building. Exactly. So that gives it a score of 13 out of 20 which uh, is right on the edge of the minimum design quality threshold, which is interesting. It gets all the points at the top end of the, of the test for location, environmental performance, and siting. The rest of it, the room by room, the livability is actually is kind really of an issue. Yeah. So, interested to see what you think about this and what we're going to be facing over the course of the rest of the week as we look at apartment loss in Vancouver. Thanks for watching the Slow Home Design segment.